hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to do about our restful api in coding nighter which is the part 4 where we are going to find or get the data by sending its parameter value inside the url and get its detail okay so guys as we saw in previous video we have done with the uh, get and post and now we are going to find with the parameters values so for example if i give forward slash one that time it should get only the one record okay so this second record should not come so guys now let's get started with it so let's go to our vs code and over here we will move to our employee controller where in the employee controller we will create one function so let's type a function public function where I will call find employee okay find or you can mention as edit employee some someone tells like edit employee so however you require so I will just send one data inside this and then not data I will send the ID over here so ID data will send and then we will write the code to fetch okay so for that guys let's get, let's get started so with this find employee if you are using api then you have to call the get function and now using this uh, we have to create a route for it okay so guys let's go to our routes.php file and over here you have to create one route so let's create a route route where the route name will be api forward slash employee forward slash find or you can tell that as edit also forward slash your id so id how will you declare it over here you will declare by opening the parenthesis bracket and give colon a and y so any means it will accept alphabet or number both okay so any kind of thing it will accept then call your controller with it so inside api folder i have a api employee controller so at beginning we'll copy this name and get back to our routes and paste over here and let's give forward slash and call your method name okay so the method is uh, the function which we have created find employee okay so let's copy this you need to call copy only this much okay not this so we have to just copy this and don't copy this get thing okay so we'll paste that you can see that i have not added that um, underscore get because that will be used by your api and now let's set this and now guys we have to start the coding okay so before starting this you are getting this dollar id right so how will you get this dollar id so inside your route only you have to specify so give forward slash dollar one so this is the method how we declare in coding nighter to pass any any ids or values through this route so guys you have to use this dollar one and then you will be assigned with that whatever values comes over here then you will start with this okay so guys now let us type the code so in this we will create a variable called employee and we will assign the key take the key of employee model employee model this employee model we have already imported over here so let me just show you okay so this is the employee model which we have taken and copied over here giving the key and making the object and this from this with this help of employee i'm going to create one variable called student and place that employee variable object and call your method okay so you can tell edit edit employee function inside this you will pass the id so which id you are going to pass this id so what you are getting it so once you get the id you are going to this function inside your employee model so let's copy this function name and let's move to employee model okay so let me just show you so let's go to employee model it's over here inside your model and over here let's write a function for it so public function P U B L I C public function where with this inside this you are sending the ID dollar ID and then here you are doing the code for it. 
let's type that code dollar this of where condition i am going to give and where i will get that id so my id is in my database is nothing but column first primary key id so i'll call that id over here and then pass your variable so i have given one space if you want you can give or else ignore this so before this where condition i have just forgot with that db where you have to give database connection so database connection you have to check with that and then again pass with that dollar this of database where i am going to get so get function use used for calling the table name so my table name as you can see is employee so let's copy this employee table name and paste over here and then once it's done let me store this in one variable called query and this query variable will execute it so let's return dollar query of where i will get only single row so this is the inbuilt query builder class with dollar row function which returns only one single row values so once it returns it will go back to its employee control appear and then after this we have to send the response for it so as you can show this same method so let's copy this and paste over here okay so let's copy this emp result and paste the result over here that's it and now we will test with it so before going to this so let's move to our route and let's copy this url let's copy it and move to a postman and as you have checked for the headers authorization and your api key in the first video crud we have already assigned with that and now we are going to send the using get method we are going to assign this value forward slash i am going to get first details okay so let's send on it so let's click on send sending request okay so you are getting the only one id value so as you can see there is nothing much into it so only one value is left cool so if you want the second id so let's paste two and then send the request so you can see that the second value that fund of web id is the second id so this is how we fetch the data by sending a request by single parameter or anything like that so guys now we have completed how to get a single uh, data by its calling by its id and now in let's go in next video about how to use put method or update the data into a database so guys let's use put method in next video so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share